Michael can get out of this group, but he's going to have to get through Killer Mike. With that, here's his money picks, RG. What do you like? Well, I like that he has that tip drill ability active. You see that T. We already saw Mike Evans that come into play. Deion Sanders, look for him to be screaming off of the edge. And the staples that you'll see in this tournament all weekend long. Randy Moss, Chad Johnson, and Aaron Rodgers with that conductor ability. What that allows them to do, AJ, is these players love to make hot routes at the line of scrimmage, but in between each hot route, the quarterback has to, you know, point to the receiver and make that animation, which, you know, takes some time. The conductor ability lets them make two hot routes in between each animation, which allows you to be more agile at the line of scrimmage with your adjustments. Basically, yeah, it allows you to call audibles much faster. Uh, now, as we take a look at Killer Mike sitting in the hot seat today right now uh, came in hot like we said he had a good run in the Seattle series had to go through Kerry Q and Young Kiv uh, to win the Seattle series and then of course he goes on to win the club series championship comes into this thing uh, you know didn't really compete at the highest level until that tournament but uh, he's been looking good up until now lost his first two what does he have to do yeah he came in with the Best six-game win streak we've arguably seen all season long, but then the quickly fall underneath 0-2. If you're Killer Mike, I think you need to stay hungry. You need to get back on your horse and know that you're out here fighting for respect. And remember, it's group play. If he was able to beat Sirius Mo and Skimbo was able to beat Canes, all three players are locked in at 1-2. and two, So you still have an outside shot at maybe advancing. Let's take a look at Killer Mike's money picks, starting with Night Train Lane there, RG. Again, you see that tip drill chemistry, but Night Train Lane with 95 speed, coverage attributes, and he can hit you. He's my favorite corner in the game. Deion Sanders, need to say more. Randy Moss and Ocho, we already talked about them. You'll see them everywhere. And again, Aaron Rodgers with that conductor ability lets you make hot routes at a faster pace at the line of scrimmage. Really good quarterback to have for some of those up-tempo offenses. All right, RG, we got to hear your scouting report right now. Brought to you by Xbox. For serious Mo, it is be great. You weren't at our last live event. People consider you to be the best Madden player in the world. You're back on the big stage. This is where you're at the best. Your best. This is where you've been shown that you can perform. You need to show that you can do it again and keep that momentum going. Be great, serious Mo, like you always are. For Killer Mike, I truly believe a key for him in this game is to avoid turnovers. Something that I know about Killer Mike looking at the statistics is he passes the ball more than anybody in this tournament. His pass percentage is actually number two, but then Sirius Mo is number four in takeaways. And, you know, throwing against Sirius Mo is not something you want to do a lot of. He has some of the best stick work in the country. If you're Killer Mike, you're going to air it out a lot, but you need to protect that football and not turn it over. And here is the kickoff. Sirius Mo will take over on offense to start the game. He in those Cowboys white uniforms. Killer Mike back in those neon green color rush. Seattle Seahawks unis representing the Seahawks from the Club Series Championship, which he won. Sirius Mo had a look in his eye right there, A, eh, that he knows that this is it. He has a goal that he wants to accomplish, and this is the biggest game of his tournament life thus far. And he truly looks like he understands what's on the line here. Both guys rolling with Aaron Rodgers in their lineup at quarterback. Not a bad choice. Rodgers throws that one out of bounds on the first play of the game. From the 25, Rodgers pressure from the gap. And it's swatted down, so it's going to be third and ten here for Sirius Mo. This is how he started against Skimbo in his last game. A quick four and out. And he's got himself in similar territory right now in the third and ten. He's going to need to get something together here. He started off too late in the last game. Quick timeout here from Mo. Mo's, Mo's calling for a technical problem. He, you heard him say, AJ, he said his buttons are wrong. And that's a controller setting within the play call screen. You could have different settings that allow you to say, hey, I want my top play at the play call screen to be Y, or I want it to be the A button or the X button. It looks like Sirius Mo had a settings issue. He has the wrong buttons. The protocol, they have protocol in this situation. We have professionals on standby, and what they'll do is they'll probably make them quit this game, restart it, fix the set, fix the settings for Sirius Mo, restart the game, and get them in the situation they're at where they left off. It's unfortunate, but we'd rather keep the integrity going and make sure everybody can play in their fair settings. Yeah, absolutely. You want these guys uh, to feel comfortable with the controller. RG, you've got one right now in your hand. 
Uh, but uh, these guys, you know, they obviously get very used to that. You hear the clicking really fast before the games, uh, or before the snap, I should say, uh, with these guys. They're able yeah. to make adjustments so fast, and it's literally muscle memory at that point. And they're so fast at picking their play at the play call screen. The reason we had to quit this game right here is if you're used to the top play in the play call screen being the Y button, you're used to scrolling to it really fast, and then boom, Y. But if we didn't, if Mo had the wrong buttons right there, he would have went boom, pressed Y, and it would have gave him the bottom play, which isn't the play he wanted to select. So I'm glad we caught it early right. in the game and we backed out before anything tragic happened. Yeah, uh, I mean, like you said, people can uh, set their options how they want on the play call screen. But it's little things like that that uh, make the difference for these guys. So we're going to make sure to get it right. Uh, obviously, we're very excited about this game, though. Mo versus Killer Mike. Mo, very emotional uh, game against Skimbo there. He actually thought, uh, you know, many times as you hear him chirping, I should say, on the mic, he, he thought uh, Skimbo was trying to give that game away to him. It almost, for a lot of times, it almost did feel like Skimbo was going to give the game away to him. But right when Mo needed the last stop to really put the pressure on Skim, Skim would execute and get it done. And he is a force right now in the Madden community. No one's playing better Madden football in the past several months than Mike Skim. And with that, we're going to send it to Zach. He's going to take a look at this other game in progress. Well, speaking of nobody playing better than Michael Skimbo, it's Skimbo who's up 7-0 right now. This is the other matchup that's going on. Canes in the Vikings uniforms with the football now. Picks up the pressure, tries to roll away, but has to throw away the ball here. He's just one for four on offense. Skimbo easily lit it up with a pass downfield. Tremendous stuff here for Skimbo, the number one seed coming into this championship event. And Canes with the tight formation here, trying to find a way to pick up that pressure, goes underneath, and Skimbo wanted that interception, Rico. And you know why Skimbo wanted that interception? That was the same pick he threw earlier in the game that he blamed Dubby for. When nobody's open, he said, throw that in underneath. He was sitting on it, waiting for it, but couldn't get it. Skimbo's utilizing this dollar three two six defense. Not as popular as some of the other ones out there, but he has been running it all season long. You see those edge pressure sliding in as Keynes looks to go across the middle, and now it's going to be a fourth down. You go if it's this early in the game, Rico? You have to if you're Keynes, because right now you're fighting for your life. You know that you're at one and one, and so is Mo. And Mo's playing against Killer Mike, who's been 0-2, so you're expecting him to win that. You know you have your destiny in your own hands. You win this game because Mo lost by so many points. You're moving on. you got to go for it here. Remember, this is group play format. The top two of the four advance point differential and very important if everybody goes two and one and Keynes moves the ball downfield. He's been going to that Z-spot post route made famous by, of course, Skimbo, you know? Absolutely, but they always tell you the first rule of Madden is don't run anything if you can't stop it. I like that downfield throw. Keynes grabs it, holds it in for the touchdown. Great drive, Randy Moss cashes in. And this one is 7-7. Seven, seven. Wow. We will keep you up to date on all the action in this one, but let's get it back over to AJ and RG. Thanks, Zach. Thanks, Rico. Back in action here between Killer Mike versus Sirius Mo. Killer Mike with the football now at the 29-yard line. As we start this game over after the settings are reset, so Mike takes over on offense to start the first half. Throws it into the flat. That one complete to Tevin Coleman. Coleman rocked at the 32, so it's gonna be third and three. Something that stands out to me that's funny, AJ, is Mo is just battling Skimbo. Left his heart out on the field, and now he's in a situation where he needs some help from Mike Skim, because if Mo's able to win this game against Killer Mike, and Mike Skim's able to knock off Canes, Mo will advance, so. Just the funny situations you find yourself in, in these groups. A lot and we knew of, this group A was going to be exciting. Oh, yeah. Uh, and it's definitely not disappointed so far as that one. That's big. In and out of the hands of Randy Moss. Turnover on downs, and Sirius Mo will now take over at the 33. So, wow, that was big, big loss of possession there by Killer Mike. Goes for the risky fourth down attempt. Randy Moss doesn't hang on to it. Yeah, and Mo loves this flood concept over here. He sends one vertical and one to the corner. He's done a great job of getting people open in that situation. I am. Looking for his receiver, but can't get both feet down. So we're looking at second and ten. Mo back in the gun. 
Rodgers throwing Reed. left. He has Hopkins, who's brought down by two, or, uh, two defensive backs there at the 21, but it's enough for a fresh set of downs. Yeah, that's a big read for Mo, moving the ball prolifically. Remember, he got the ball first, then got a stop, so he's back in the situation where he needs to be. He needs to get points. See, and now Killer Mike will get the ball at the half. Tight gun set, Aaron Rodgers. Chris Ivory in the backfield. Rodgers decides to try and run one up the middle between those tackles, or guards, I should say. Cannot do it. Yeah, fortunate though, he avoided a big hit right there. He was, uh, you know, under some pressure. The last thing you want if you're the serious one right here is a fumble. These guys have no games on record against yeah. each other. He's gonna roll out right here. Roll out right, look for the A tight end. Plenty of game film to look at. Oh, he throws no. an interception. So Killer dumb, Mike so with dumb, the pick. Uh, that is Anthony Barr, RG, with the interception and brought down at the 14 as we take a look at this one again. Oh, look at this uh, replay. He has the tight end away, right there. How he had a step it? on him, and then he hesitates for one second, throws to the underneath route. That's where Killer Mike is lurking, ready to go, and that's a big play right there for Mike, and now Mo's got himself in a situation. Rodgers with pressure from behind. And he throws the ball incomplete. Could have been worse on that one. Randy Moss. Chad Johnson lined up to the left. Throws it into the flats to Coleman. Killer Mike completes a pass. If you're just joining us, we are on the biggest stage of Madden 17 to date, the Madden Championship. This is day one, so you haven't missed much. We're still in Group A. We've still got B, C, and D. This weekend. Oh, good defense right there by Mo. And then Killer Mike taking a shot on third and one. You'll see players do that a lot in these tournaments. When you catch them in a third and one or a fourth and one situation, AJ, that's the time where you want to air it out because everybody's playing run defense. Mo ready for it right there. And we got ourselves a big play. So Mike going for it on fourth again. Rogers looking left. He has a man. Oh. Feet in bounds. It's Randy Moss and Moss. Picking up another first down. That's a good read. You see Mo taking over away the middle of the field, but gets about Randy Moss up this up running a corner route towards the sideline. Got a step, and that was a big conversion for the killer Mike. That throw incomplete. Intended for Julio Jones, who doesn't hang on to the football. So second and ten now. Rogers. Plenty of time in the pocket. Finds Coleman. Coleman cutting back inside. Looks like he's just shy of a first down. And Third if, ninjas here. If you're Mo, you're, you're in an awkward spot here. Killer Mike is playing with a little less pressure on himself right now. It's a long shot for him to get out of this group. And when you get somebody that takes some pressure off of themselves, that could really open up their offense. Oh, what a spin by Mike. He hits the sideline. He gets icky. Oh, nice touchdown man. by Randy oh, Moss. No, no, no. What a great touchdown. Killer Mike with the juke moves and the spin. And Sirius Mo can't believe it. Yeah, that was stick work by Mike. Look at this replay. Mo just misses the pick. Huge spin, fakes out the defender. Mo gets a little selfish, goes for the strip, misses it. That lets Killer Mike get on his horse, get in for six. And now Mo's got himself down seven. He's in a situation. Here's another look eh, at this run, and that spin was nasty. We call that stick work in the Madden community. I have a feeling we might see this play in the top five for the day. That was nasty. Fimo, you got to answer back right here, serious one. You've been waiting to come back to one of these events, prove everybody not only are, are you one of the best Madden players, but you are the best Madden player in the world. But you need to get out of your group in order to do that. Johnson motion left. Rodgers, no time in the pocket as the in comes through and gets to him. And with that, we're going to throw it to Zach for a quick Madden game break. Second quarter over here. And stop me if you've heard this Come before, on, but Skimbo on third and five downfield picks up another touchdown. He's up 14-7 on Canes. Still a close game, though, there in our off-stream match. Rodgers looking over the middle, finds Johnson, picks up a first down. Wrangled at the 44-yard line. 
Good read by Mo, and if you're noticing it, A, Mo is getting people open often on offense. It's just up to him to make the right read and execute the plays. He has the play calling he needs. He just needs to come through with the execution, which is probably the most important part. Dumps it off to Johnson, who can't hang on to it with pressure from the backside. He lets the pressure through. And Rodgers dumps it off to his wide receiver who can't hang on to it. So good defense there by Killer Mike who has a 7-0 lead. In this final game of Group A, Ivory with the reception, trucks the first man, cannot break the second tackle, brought down at the 48. Again, if you're building a mud squad on a budget, how about this Chris Ivory gold 76 overall? He's showing he can get it done, A. So Mo giving the free tip out there for the budget. Madden players. Oh, Almost completed a Johnson. I cannot believe he didn't cut back outside. Yeah, Gene. yeah that was the problem right there. Hey, it's, a, it's a good play. It's a first down, but he didn't make the most of it. It looked like he had room to cut it to the outside, and instead of it being a big gain, it should have been a touchdown. That's frustrating when you don't uh, execute plays to their fullest potential. This one complete to Randy Moss. Mo tries to spin himself. Let's look at that play again, RG. That could have been potentially a touchdown as Rodgers completes this one and he cuts Eight. back inside towards the safety. Yeah, if we saw the other angle, you would have saw he had the whole right side of the field just open. He just needed to make one cut. There's a throw into the end zone. Intended for Randy Moss. He can't come down with it in double coverage. 18 seconds here in the first quarter. Regardless, good drive thus far by Mo. He's moving the ball. Pressure from the gaps. Throws it to Johnson. Johnson stumbles. His knee touches the ground at the 13. The clock continues to run here in the first. Big third and nine. And a big third and nine for Sirius Mo. Back in the tight gun set. Mo looking for Moss. Moss wow. has room into the end zone for the touchdown, and Mo is going to tie this one up against oh, be. Killer Mike. On and that was a on great offense. pass gotta by Mo. If we offense. see that gotta replay, AJ, offense. you'll see most people like to throw high passes into the end zone in this situation. Mo with a nice low throw to Moss. You see the oh, low pass on your on screen with the precision of a watchmaker. That's a dot right there, eh? I feel like the uh, low pass is a little underrated, RG. It's completely underutilized. I guarantee you there's Madden junkies all over the screen that just watch that pass. route and are immediately going to go put that right. into their arsenal. Look at, look at, look at Mo chirping a little bit about he, the stamina right now. The thing is he's continuing to complain about the stamina, but we're not getting any other complaints about it from any of the other players. You got to wonder, is he just psyching himself out? With that, we're going to throw it to Zach, who has a Madden game break. Somebody finally did it. They stopped Skimbo, but he still gets three. It's now 17-7, second quarter. Thank you, Farrells. So second and one here, tie ball game between Killer Mike and Skimbo. Wow, there's so many, the play. so many situations on how this group could play out, AJ. A ton of drama. You know Donnie Moore's in the back crunching those numbers. Rodgers finding Coleman. Coleman, nice juke move. And then back outside to run it out of bounds and stop the clock here. Killer Mike. It's a nice shot of that jersey. I wish I had a custom jersey like that, huh? But those are the perks of being a Club Series champion. That is right. Got to watch Mike. Was up there with Larry Ridley for the Seattle Series. He looked really good in that tournament. And of course, we all know what happened in the Club Series Championship right here in Burbank. Yeah, he won the finals, the first ever Club Series Finals. Won himself 20 grand, a place in the history books, and kept, got to represent an NFL franchise in a Madden tournament. Uh, that had to be a great experience for Killer Mike, but he's got himself in a situation right here going up against one of the all-time greats in Serious Mo. Mike does a great job of picking up that right side pressure from Sirius Mo, but he doesn't throw a complete pass as his receiver doesn't uh, keep both feet in. Watch so the shot in the play. formation here on third and inches. Watch the shot play. I love the shot play. Probably not. Fullback dive. Fullback dive for this one. 
picks up the safe. first down. But I like your call there, RG. I like, he was uh, showing I like the, the play. I like the guess. Yeah, he was showing the play art like he wanted to do it, and he already did it on one third and one where he took a shot deep downfield. So if you're Mo, you got to put that in your memory bank and be ready for it. Don't run commit on those third and shorts. And you got Randy Moss. Definitely has dangerous speed to get over the top on a shot play like that. Good blitz pickup. He's Rogers backpedaling, no. not finding anyone. Randy Moss was covered. It looked like the didn't like what he saw. Well, it looked like the receiver on the left did have a step on the DB. Um, Killer Mike maybe didn't feel he had time to set his feet and really air it out because he would have had a deep bomb. He would have had to get a lot of mustard under the ball, but. Nonetheless, throws the ball away, which I'm always a fan of. You live to fight another down. Don't force anything if you're not feeling it. Big time pressure from the right side, but he does keep his composure and completes it to his tight end. That's Jordan Cameron with the grab. A nice little game to make this a third and manageable from the 45. Kill him, Mike. This is an Air Force guy, man. He's used to dealing with pressure situations all day long, eh? So this ain't nothing new to him. That is right as pressure comes from the backside there, Deion Sanders. And we're going to throw it to Zach for another game break. Fourth and one. Canes got a touchdown, but when he went to kick the extra point, Skimbo stuffed it. So now it is 17-13, approaching halftime. <laughs> We can hear Skimbo through our microphones back there yelling at you, RG. He always yells at me when he's up there, and I'd be lying if I said I didn't love it. <laughs> a nice fourth down conversion here by Killer Mike to get a fresh set of downs from the 41. We've got 235 remaining here in the first half. Killer Mike versus Sirius Mo. Ah, dang it, Big man. game dang for it. both of these guys. That was the one, this baby. drive is really just dragging out, huh? Hey, this has been a long drive for Killer Mike thus far. It feels like it is just going on and on. And that's got to be frustrating for Mo. He's really keeping the ball out of Sirius's hands. We heard Mo. That's risky. Yelling about calling. All right, come on. Making the decision to pick the defense that he's running in his last game. Do you think he wishes he was uh, in his usual defensive playbook? Well, they submitted their roster, so he should be in whatever playbook he wants to be in. He did choose it. He choose it. You choose it. But he's uh, second guessing it at this point. Yeah, and no. right now, Killer Mike is doing a good job marching down the field on it. Yeah, you can't have any excuses. You submit your roster. You submit your playbooks. You're in complete control of your team. You have time pre to prepare and make those adjustments that you want to make before you submit your roster. So um, all of that stuff is, is out the window. You're in control. There's no excuses there. That one caught and brought out of bounds after a first down at the nine. And, and that's one of the coolest things about making this event, I'll say, AJ, is these guys do have access to the entire MUT database, which there's a lot of rare items that you usually can't use. Not when you're in the Madden Championship. You use whatever you want. As long as you stay under that cap. Uh -oh. Dion, oh my God. Throws wow. one to the back of the end zone, and Randy Moss with a huge catch two. against prime time Sanders, Deion man. Sanders. Mo can't believe it. Yeah, that's frustrating. Anytime someone's going to make a catch wow. in traffic against your best defender, he's saying that's Deion Sanders. How are you going to let that happen? The problem right oh, there is Deion wow. Sanders Deion, is also man. going up against the 99 Randy hey. Moss who has some height on him as well. So Moss is going to be a tough matchup for anybody, even if you are the 99 overall, Deion Sanders. Yeah, Deion Sanders is going to knock down uh, more than he doesn't, for sure. He's the best cornerback in the game. But, it, it but is, Randy Moss is going to come down with some of those. He is going to come down with some of them. The reason it's a tough break for Mo is there's not Fire much he can do Barbara. but get his best defender Barbara. on Moss and hope he can make a play. And when the defender just doesn't make a play for you, it's going to be frustrating. But nonetheless, you know that's the type of thing that can happen. you got to fight through it. Good news for Sirius Mo is he has plenty of time here in the first half to put some points on the board. But he needs to move pretty quickly. Throws it over the middle. That man was covered as it's swatted down by Anthony Barr. So we're looking at a third in inches. Mo needed to take advantage of that play right there. He caught Killer Mike stuck on his defensive tackle, which meant there was no one lurking over the middle of the field, which usually means you can hit him for a big game. 
over the middle of the field, uh, unable to execute right there for Mo. And that's been a theme for him throughout this tournament thus far, is his execution has not been as biblical as we're used to seeing it. This is a guy that's usually one of the best at executing all over the place, but Mo has blatantly had some trouble with it thus far in the tournament. Chad Johnson motion left. He's on the delayed slant. Mo looking for Ooh. Moss, and Moss comes down with it with a big catch to pick up another first down. Anything Let's take a look at that Moss again. can do, my Moss can do better, as you see Mo right here. Chuck it, and then Moss does what Moss does. Little one-handed spec catch for a big game. Serious one's driving. That first down throw incomplete intended for Ivory, who can't hang on to it under pressure. He heard the footsteps, so second and 10 from the 36. 51 seconds remaining here in the first half. Final game of Group A right now. We've still got B today and C and D tomorrow. We got Madden for weekends to come, eh? We got Madden championship season, baby. Plenty of Madden to watch. Another completion over the middle. No, he does not hang on to it. Does not hang on to it, so it's going to be third and 10 now from the 36. Serious Mo trying to put some points up. That was a rough play for Mo. It looked like he had him for a touchdown, but the defense collapsed on the pass quickly. Pressure up the middle, and with that, we're going to throw it to Zach for another Madden game break. Well, you heard Skimbo screaming about it, and here was the play he was going nuts for. He's already up 17-13, and going into the half, he's looking good with another one on the board. Skimbo doing what Skimbo does. That little baby swerve right there. He told me he was going to hit people with that this weekend. I, I think that's why he got all excited and started yelling at me, AJ. I'm going to stop calling him Skimbo, start calling him Babe Ruth, because the kid just keeps calling his shots. Nostradamus, whatever you want to call the kid. Not really a kid, but... Call more of a mom. veteran in the Madden terms. I mean, the guy has been absolutely as consistent as you can be. Mike Skimbo. For the last several years, too. Yeah, he's been absolutely phenomenal this year. That's a great thing about competitive Madden, though, is it's a skill once you acquire it. Though the game comes out every year and it changes year after year, once you acquire the skills of learning how to play high-level Madden, it's something that translates year after year, and it makes it easier to get good each time the game comes out. So a lot of these guys, they got that skill, and don't expect them to go anywhere soon. Absolutely. As you learn those football concepts, big sack, big sack here by Sirius Mo. He calls a timeout. So 29 seconds here in the half. Killer Mike on his own 15-yard line right now. Serious Mo down by four. Throws it to Tevin Coleman. And another timeout by Sirius Mo. Back in the gun here, Randy Moss, Julio Jones, Chad Johnson, all lined up at wide receiver, Tevin Coleman in the backfield with Aaron Rodgers. Rodgers, big time Dang. pressure from the outside. Wow. That is Deion Sanders with the sack. That was a big play by Mo. He's gonna be able to go into the second half, only down four points, that's a big deal, eh? So fourth and 23 as the clock is going to expire here on the first half. Killer Mike though with the lead RG, 14 to 10. And an impressive first half right now by Killer Mike. Yeah, Killer Mike played a good first half. But the thing is, Mo is going to need to get back on his horse here. He, he has found himself in a dogfight. He is in a must-win situation. You got Skimbo over there taking care of business against Canes right now. So Mo is almost in a win-and-get-in situation. But the problem is, it seems like Killer Mike's finally starting to hit his stride. Yeah, absolutely. I think Killer Mike is absolutely playing the best game that he's had so far. But we got to throw it to Dave and Rico for our halftime. Thanks a lot, guys. Rico, you heard the guys just mention it. Looks like we may be back to club series level Killer Mike right now. 
What do you see in that first half? Absolutely. You can see his armed forces pedigree kicking in. He is not quitting. He is going to continue to persevere. And let's not count him out. If he wins this game by the right point amount and he gets some help and Skimbo beats Canes, they're all one and two, and he can move on as well. So if Killer Mike gets that killer instinct, watch out. <laughs> That's right. Anything is possible here in the last games of Group A. For some more perspective on our Group A matchups, let's go to Z Farrell's down on the wall. Zach? We're over here, we're watching Skimbo, we're watching Canes, and I've got a big time play in the Canes drive. What a nice work. And now Skimbo knows this well. He knows Randy Moss, he knows the bunch. This route by Randy Moss is going to get him open deep down the sideline. Look at this. No defender is going to be able to cover that. He's over in a flat. And when you roll it, you're going to see Moss get wide open, just as open as this Group A still is, because all of the moving parts, group stage, two out of four of these guys are advancing. Points on the line, Dave. Back to you. Thanks a lot, Zach. Good stuff. If you are looking for tips and tricks to up your Madden game, follow Madden Ultimate Team on Twitter at EA Sports underscore Mutt. And yet to come here today, we have Group B action kicking it off with D Jones and Young Kiv. I know, Rico. People in the community are looking forward to this one. People in the community, me. You know, <laughs> I bought a lot of young kids stock in that last tournament. Look for him to be amazing. Fantastic. Well, before we get into our Group B matchups, we're still got to finish up Group A here. We've got Drea down on the field with Killer Mike. Drea, take it away. Thanks so much, Dave. Killer, this is such a big moment for you, your first major live event of the season. Describe your emotions. Uh, my emotions are kind of wild right now because I played really poorly the first two games. But uh, right now I'm playing a good game and hopefully I can get it done this last game. You mentioned playing a good game, huge touchdown grab to give you the lead. How do you capitalize on that momentum in the second half? I, I just got to keep it going. Just uh, keep attacking and don't let down. All right, best of luck in the second half. Let's send it to AJ and RG. Thank you, Drea. Uh, RG. Group A has not disappointed so far. We all thought this would be the toughest group, and right now it's been anybody's game. Uh, you know, we thought Skimbo, after those first two games, he couldn't be beat, and right now Keynes has given him a good one. Yeah, everybody knew this was completely up in the air, and that's where we're at. In between games, I got to go into the back room real quick, and you saw Donnie Moore with just spreadsheets all over the place <laughs> running the numbers to see where we're going to be at. But right now... All anyone should be focusing on is just taking care of business and winning the game, especially if you're serious mode. Throw out point differential, throw out all of that stuff, focus at the task at hand, and get the W. And if you kill a Mike, understand that your chances, there is still a Cinderella shot for you to get in here, so you can't take your foot off the gas either. You need to keep doing what you've been doing because you got a four-point lead against one of the best in the world. You're absolutely right. Killer Mike looking strong in the first half, but serious Mo will start in the second half right now. Oh, that's big that Mo has the ball to start the second half, only down four. He's been a slow starter thus far, though, in, in these events. He needs to come out and make a statement right here, coming out of the half A. Serious Mo back out of the shotgun. Pressure coming through the gap. Johnson Ooh, with the catch on the complete pass. Aaron Rodgers looking methodical right now. For both players, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the game, and he's proving it right there. Nice throw under pressure. Some of these quarterbacks, you can see in ultimate team, will throw incomplete passes, throw errant passes when they're under pressure. Rodgers throws a nice one there. No way, man. This is oh, intended for wrong. Johnson, who can't oh, hang on to it. I mean, it, it was in traffic. You would hope Ocho could hold no on reason, to that man. and possession catch it. Golly. but. Uh, that, that's in traffic, Mo. He, he's not blatantly open. There's a defender right on his hip. You need to get some more separation if you want to make sure he comes down with that. I hate to say it, but it is what it is. Mo making some adjustments there as he, uh, as we hear him talking about fatigue again, thinking that Johnson was fatigued and that's why he didn't come down with it. That one is complete to Randy Moss. It and Madden works both ways. If you look at this replay here, he throws this one in traffic somewhat as well. This wasn't a wide open read. That guy's covered, but he held on to the ball. So sometimes Madden goes your way, sometimes it doesn't. I'm you got to take the good and the bad. He goes vintage. Go, 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 go. Uh, let's go. Breaks oh. it. Big play. I knew it, baby. I Chad knew it. Johnson oh, with plenty right. of stamina. Put it together, baby. One. Put it together. Gets the let's touchdown. Put it together. Put it together, baby. Put it together. You hear the most of 
Let's take a look at that Let's replay, together, RG. Baby. Put it together. Let's put it together. And he catches Killer Mike with no deep zone over there. Ocho with the rack, break a tackle, and now you're all the way back, Mo, with a three-point lead against Killer Mike. Oh, come Let's, on, baby. Lay down, baby. Lay down. Let's see if Killer could respond. Don't I don't know don't how sleep. he don't let him back. so wide open no to see to it again. Back, uh, no From another angle back. there. Busted Chad coverage. Johnson. The artist coverage, formerly eh? known as Ocho Cinco with a big touchdown. So 17-14 now the lead serious Mo in front. This is it, Mo. You got to play some defense right here if you're the nah, serious one. He just missed it. Kill you hear Mo saying, good play. Well, Killer Mike's had a couple throws now where he has completed the pass, but Mo is just about a couple inches off from being able to get his hands on it and make a pick. It has been very close on a couple of those throws to the flat. Rogers out of the shotgun. Picks up the pressure well. Mike no throws it to Coleman. Coleman. No way. Drops to the to ground to avoid the big hit. That, that's a good read right there. And that what what Killer Mike does right there in that situation is he took all the receivers, had him clear clear out everyone out, and then this guy just comes out and sneaks in in the last second when everybody drops back deep. That was a good play by Killer Mike. Throw to the middle here to Cameron and Mike with another first down. And he's just walking. And it feels like Moe's been having trouble keeping his momentum uh, so far. He, he'll answer back with a score or get a stop. But then he's having trouble keeping his foot on the gas. As you see, Killer Mike just walking up the field right now. Serious from Moe. Playing strong defense so far. Let's throw it to Zach. Sorry, we'll come back to that. Right now, we're second and 10 from the 40. This is big, eh? Pressure from the right side. Cameron with the grab. Now we'll throw it to Zach for a Madden game break. AJ, here's what I got for you. I got Skim milking the clock. He kicks a field goal, and he's possessing the ball against Canes. It's looking like it's over. Skimbo looking strong so far in this group A. This is big. I'm putting it lightly. What, what? <laughs> Well, what happens is Skim goes 3-0, he establishes dominance, he's still on his quest to win his first ever live event, but on top of that, this group is bananas right now because you have a situation where Keynes is most likely going to end up 1-2. and two. If Killer Mike can take care of business against Mo, he's going to be 1-2. and two. That would put oh, Mo God, in at 1-2, and two. Mo drops a pick. <laughs> That'd have been awesome. That was huge. Needed his central defenders. That. But there is drama here, and more so than anything, assuming Skimbo's going to take care of business Let's on Canes, Mo then controls his own destiny. Remember, he's playing with a heavy heart. This is something that he wants dearly, and he's in position to get it. He just needs to execute and walk away with this W. Mike with a third and five. No, Tevin no. Coleman. Good beat. Strong oh. run there after the grab. Pushes down the... Would-be tackler and picks up a first down. Killer Mike is relentless, and Gibbs talked about it earlier. Killer Mike is somebody, he's second when it comes to pass attempts per game, his pass percentage. Nobody airs the ball out almost more than Killer Mike. But then one of the other things that's interesting is his average yards per completion is bottom of the barrel. So Killer Mike showing, he still really does use an Alex Smith mentality where he is willing to dink and dunk his way all the way up the field. Thank you. There's a throw Jesus. towards Come the on, end Dion. zone where looking for you, Randy bro? Moss. Where are you at, Dion? We hear Mo saying, where are you, Dion? Looking for his uh, top cornerback to make a play that time. Moss does not hang on to it. Earlier in the game, we saw Randy Moss come down with one with Dion right on him. Randy Moss, big wide receiver, tough to stop on every play. You just got to contain him. There's a run attempt. Oh, what's and up? A Let's go. Oh. Serious Mo with the recovery. Rick. Let's go, man. Look at this oh, huge six, play. Wins baby. the tackle battle. Six. Mo clicks on and boom, give me it. I'm waiting the hammer. I'm clapping you. And now Mo in opportunity to go happy. down and get six and make it two possessions, A. Eh? This is a big drive for Sirius. Never mind. Mo's calling it, got saying him. he thinks he's going to get real blitz heavy. He's got it. Doesn't do it. He throws it to Johnson, who has to come back for the football. A strip attempt there by Anthony Barr. But Johnson hangs on to it for the first down. Mo hesitated right there. Fortunate that he's still able to get the completion. Nonetheless, good play. 
Rogers dropping back, completes it to Ouch. Ivory. Ivory tries to truck, like and he is knocked back. Yeah, all that trucking and stuff is cute until you go up against the ultimate legend, six foot three, Paul Krause, NFL's all time interception leader, laying the hammer right there. Another handoff to Ivory, who has enough for a first down on the run. It, and one thing that you can count on from Sirius Moe is his clock management is masterful. We've seen it plenty of times. You're going to look for him to kill as much clock as possible in this situation, pick up first downs, and then get himself six to make a two possession, leaving Killer Mike as little time as possible to make a comeback. Take a look at that run again. Ivory. Look at this stiff arm, RG, that strong stiff arm. Use a stiff arm. Using keep some the of momentum the, going. Using some of those ball carrier moves, and we're seeing the competitors get better at those. A lot of them have had trouble mastering those ball carrier moves, even on the highest level, but we've already seen some really nice spins, jukes, and stiff arms in this tournament. Guys constantly evolving their games, eh? That's what that is. I do have word that Skimbo has indeed held on to win his final game, so he will advance going 3-0 and in Group A. Serious Mo trying to do the same. Uh -oh. Throws that one incomplete. And remember, Mo doesn't know the outcome of that Skimbo Canes game. So he doesn't know for sure that he's in a win and get in situation. But best believe he's playing like it right now. Probably wanting to put some points on the board, knowing that point differential can come into play. And situations not knowing what's happening in the other game yeah this is tense eh? no, no matter what happens if mo wins he's in you got to be happy for him but if he loses you got the three-way tie and not one and two and you i don't know what's going to happen there it's, it's up it's up to donnie in the back to run those numbers this game is far from over right now as mike hangs on that's big on defense to hold him to a field goal attempt that one splits the upright so mo will take a 20 to 14 lead but Mike gets the football here with plenty of time. Yeah, that didn't work out how Mo would have wanted it to work. Barely took any time off the clock like we said he was going to do, and then not able to get the touchdown. So it's still a one-possession game, and a touchdown pretty much puts Killer Mike up as long as he's able to hit the extra point. A lot of pressure still in this game in the fourth quarter, AJ. This is tense. Mo with the short kick. I like to call it the Bella kick. I'll tell you what, though, if Moe's able to force a turnover right here, he might run through a wall the way he's playing and <laughs> as animated as he's been. Might run right through the back of that set right there. Got a 20 to 14 lead right now. Killer Mike driving, though. Just missed the big hit. And Johnson with another first down. So Killer Mike moving the ball pretty well right now against Sirius Mo outside of that fumble on the last drive. Aaron Rodgers. Oh, it's Another up. fumble that's recovered go. by Sirius Mo. Aaron Donald with the recovery on the fumble. And that is a tough break there by Killer Mike. Let's take a look at it again. Joey. Trying to throw the ball Bosa. away, RG. And that's that happens that sometimes. Joey Bosa we talked about. He's going to power move. He's going to finesse move. He's going to block shed and make plays. None might have been as big as that one. Because Sirius Mo now back in the situation eh, where he can kill as much clock as possible. But instead of needing a touchdown, he just needs the field goal to make it two possessions. Sirius Mo in prime position to walk away with the W. He just needs to not let anything tragic happen and execute. Sirius Mo in the I formation here with three seconds remaining on the play clock. Probably going to use as much as he can. Hands it off to Ivory, who picks up a couple yards on that little run. Want to remind everybody, we are far from done today. We're only in Group A. We've still got plenty of great action in Group B. RG, there's a big one first. We've got a really fun game. Young Kiv versus D. Jones, so you're not going to want to leave your monitor or TV screen or smartphone. Yeah, that, that's a rivalry match between two guys who really don't like each other. Mo continuing. You hear the sports cliche, but these guys, uh, that, that's 100% no, real. No, uh, they genuinely do not 
like each other. I'll, I'll say that again. And sometimes those are the best rivalries. It's entertainment. It's fun to watch. And that is going to be a battle. I can't wait for it. But we still got ourselves locked into a matchup right here. Mo going to take it to the two-minute warning. Boom. So now he doesn't have to worry about that. Up nine. And if you're Mo in this situation, I think you just can't give up the big play. Hey, you can let Killer Mike dink and dunk his way down the field, but the most important thing is that that clock keeps on moving. But you also need to watch out. Killer Mike still has three timeouts right there. So if he is able to get in a score and leave himself enough time to play some defense and get the ball back, Mo could find himself in an unfortunate situation. Rodgers looking Clear. left. And there were a lot of defenders in that area looking for Tevin Coleman. Coleman doesn't hang on to it. Could have been worse there. Yeah, Mo sniffed that out right there. He was all over that read. That was almost a pick six the other way. Sirius is starting to heat up. Rogers looking over the middle, completes it to Randy Moss. Randy Moss with another first down. So Killer Mike keeps this drive alive. He's got all three of his timeouts. That's worth noting. Would prefer not to have to use any until oh, yeah. after a touchdown, which he won't get here as he throws an interception to Sirius Mo. Not the best pass there. Let's take a look at that again. Paul Krause, RG, like you said, all-time leader in interceptions. And that was a bad read by Killer Mike and Mo in prime position to advance right now. You know the Lane clan and everybody back at Lima, Ohio has got to be going crazy right now because Mo in complete control looking like he is going to advance out of this group, get a chance to win the Madden Championship, and you know what? He guarantees himself $10,000 getting out of this group as well with a chance to make a lot more money than that in this tournament. Not a bad day at the office for Not Mo thus far. Not a bad day at all. Hands this one off to Ivory. Ivory finds a little hole and picks up a few yards. It's going to be third and two, but he's running the clock right now, and Mike is just going to let him do that. And Mo is a guy that's already made $25,000 this year playing Madden, and he's just continuing to add to that number. If he was able to win this whole cha Madden championship, he'd walk away with about 120 racks in just com Madden championship series earnings. You got to give it up for Serious Mo. You got to be happy for him, and you know that his father, Herb Lane Jr., is watching down as proud. As could be of his son right now. Yeah, Way to absolutely. put on for your, for your hometown and your family, Sirius Mo. You deserve it. So Sirius Mo wins this one 23 the, to 14, the final. Uh, great game there by Sirius Mo. Uh, of course, we heard that Skimbo did win his other game. Uh, so great group there in Group A. We knew it was going to be tough. Came down to the wire for all these guys. Yeah, four great competitors, but let's be honest, the two guys that you would have expected to come out of that group, had you had a pick, would be Skimbo and Sirius Mo. And if you're the rest of the field in this competition, you better be paying close attention because <laughs> these are forces to be reckoned with. Very good competitors. And with that, let's throw it to Drea. She has our winner. Thanks so much, AJ. Congrats, Mo. Great clock management and execution down the stretch. What did you think of the job you were able to do in those areas? Uh, honestly, he played great defense on me. Um, I got kind of lucky a few plays on offense. I know that for sure. If if I don't get those, you know, I, I could lose. You know what I mean? Uh, he played pretty good offense. I, I really don't know how I won the game. I, I felt like he played probably better than me. Um, I didn't play as well as I wanted to today, but you know, I'm glad it was it was enough. You know what I mean? This was a win and get in for you. Congrats on advancing. What are your thoughts? You know, it's amazing. You know, I got, I got two weeks to get better, and I'm the type of player you can definitely expect me to get a lot better in the next two weeks. You said you wanted to win for your dad and his memory. What does this mean to you to be able to win and do what you said you were going to do for your dad? Uh, honestly, I would have been happy. Not happy, but you know what I mean? I would, I would have been okay with winning or losing. You mm -hmm. know, uh, my dad, he was truly, like, a superhero to me. You know what I mean? Like, we had the best relationship a, a father and son could have. I've been blessed with a great family. My mom is amazing. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's seriously so lucky. Uh, you know, growing up, I was like one of the best students in my class, and I told them that you know I love the game. You know, I, I really see a future with it, and they never held back. You know, what I mean, they they just.